Hi guys, welcome back to my Alvin. Alvin, very rude. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a little vlog for you. I wanted to start out by welcoming you to my garden and home. Alvin! Very rude. So, welcome to my garden. We have been trying to sort it out for summer so we can have barbecues and have people around. Do you mind? But the patio, so the patio, we jet washed it the other day, just sort of spruced it up and we've uncovered what can only be described as a multicolored patchwork technicolor dance mat of a patio. We thought it was great. I'll insert footage where you can watch the, a video on my TikTok. Um, and yeah, so now I've got this multicolored patio coming from somebody who doesn't like colorful decor. And I'm currently trying to figure out what to do with it. I think I'm gonna get some sort of cleaner to clean it up even more and then maybe repoint it and possibly paint it. I wanted to put gravel down, but um, I'm being told I'll create a, some sort of death trap ice rink. So I don't think gravel is actually an option. Um, I'd rather just not kill family when they come round. So I think, I don't know to be honest I'm just gonna clean it up and hope for the best I'd really like some outdoor like nice outdoor furniture basically I'd love to create this garden into a real flower paradise and you might know that I love growing sort of cut flowers and things like that so I've been growing plenty of those that I'll show you and yeah I just really want to make it a nice space I want to have like dinner parties and garden parties <sighs> but I've got an old Renault house. I can't complain. I feel mean saying that, but yeah. It's a bank holiday Monday and I've just come to my studio because I've got loads to sort out for this week. I've got quite a busy week and I've just got loads to organize. I thought I'd, you, I'd bring you with me. The studio is looking quite a mess and we're gonna sort it out. Welcome to my studio. So it is a mess in here at the moment. I'm not joking. I am like a hurricane when I come through and I just want to sort it out and make it just a bit of a nicer space. I've got the studio. Basically it was for my brand. Um, let me show you. So these boxes <laughs> are future sure stock i'm currently not running the brand i'm on a bit of a break but we need to get this sorted so that i can start up the brand again um i think i'm gonna get because i it used to all be stored at a warehouse who sent out the orders but i think i'm gonna start doing it in-house and i need like pick picking boxes or something so i just look up that but oh my god that is the stress of my life and then down this end i tend to just have my sofa i've got like a table and chairs here where i can work and film stuff and i want this side to be like the office side and then that side to be sort of warehouse type stock side <laughs> oh my god it stresses me out just looking at it then we've got a mezzanine up there i've got some old like fabric that's just laying around. So I'm gonna try and make this area just a little bit nicer so that I can film plenty of like real, like I've got loads of ideas for like reels and styling videos and TikToks and whatever. And I just want the space to be, to be a bit nicer. I tend to edit here as well. And I just wanna make it, it's, I've had this space years and I do not invest any money into it. That sofa was 50 pounds. And it is time that I started living you know, just, it just looking a little bit nicer. So I've started with a few bits from Ikea and we'll go from there. So first up we've got a little lamp. It's called Talbin and it's chrome, like silver. And I think that would look quite nice in here. I'm going for more of a silver vibe. I hope it's not like DIY build itself. And then we've got curtains. 
like they're like semi sheer i had this and these in my old flat but i threw them away because i'm an idiot and i'm gonna hang them from the mezzanine i'm gonna try and put up a curtain rack advanced and then i just got a little rug i feel like rugs add real like depth and interest to the space i'm on a budget so i didn't spend a lot i'm not gonna lie right So I've got one of these, but I haven't got the, I don't know, the twirly thing that you put in, put the screws in. So I can't put the curtain rail up today, annoying. But I've just like placed one up there and it looks good, right? I feel like when it's got a curtain rail along the top, that's gonna look quite nice. Okay, it's the next day, I'm back. I had to shoot something for Amazon yesterday, so I ended up doing that. And also I'd forgotten the drill bit. I actually forgot the drill bit again today to put up this camera. But as you can see, I've done it. I just shoved the nails in with no drill bit. So love that for me. I need to shoot some styling videos, but I'm feeling really uninspired. However, I've got some bits I bought from H- Like Alvin's just eating a packet of chicken he's found. Um, enjoy. I bought some bits from H&M, let's try them on and that will get me inspired. Okay, stripy vest top. I, this is really nice. Fits really well and is a wild alternative if I don't want to wear black or white, as usual. Love this. Okay, white linen shorts. Can you see me? I am not really a shorts person, but I love the idea of styling them with like a white shirt. Um, these are quite long, the fabric's lovely, got big pockets, and yeah, I like these. Okay, white linen shirt. Let's make this work. So I've seen a lot of the styling on the H&M website. They have the back of the collar up like that and then I should try checking it in okay this is going to take a minute i'm sure i can make it work okay how do we make this not look like i look like i work at an asylum or something okay this is like better but i still i look like i'm off duty at the asylum with an animal bag Back the socks. okay hold on i've got another white shirt i don't know what there's, there is always a reason why I buy everything. Like I've always got outfits planned out for anything I buy, but I forget the reason. It'll come back to me once I, there'll be something in there that I'm like, yeah, that's what I meant to wear that with. Okay, I've settled on styling it with long, this vest top, just because it's a bit longer. I can wear the shorts, low waist, H&M, sunglasses as well. And yeah, I think I'm gonna style this as if like summer in the city vibes. But these linen pieces are really, really nice. Really nice fabric. For whatever reason, my camera is trying to defeat me. I filmed a whole haul of all my YouTube stuff and it in slow motion for the second time. So I'm gonna try it again for you now because there's some really good stuff in here. And also how cute is the room looking now that I've semi sorted it out. So these trousers and another thing that I bought, they are stripy, they're sort of linen. And I really like these. I'm 5'6", by the way. I feel like they're edging on being too short for me. So if you are shorter than me, you're in luck. They're like slightly tailored, really lovely, soft, light summer fabric. Really nice mix in between being like, you know, comfy, comfortable tailoring, like comfortable, but a little bit dressed up. And this vest is not H&M, this is Amazon. Okay, and it came in a multi-pack with a white one, a gray one, and a black one. And I, I love them, I love them all. I really recommend, so I will link those as well. Okay, this is where I am confused on sizing when it comes to H&M. These trousers are a 12. I would say I'm usually a 10, and they like 
definitely fit me as if they're a 10. And where this vest is a small and like, it's too big, right? Like the straps are too long and okay, it, I don't know, if it's, but it doesn't fit quite right. I like how small the straps are, but I swear this is bigger than the small. Anyway, the sizing's strange. So I like how small the straps are and I like a vest where you can see like a bit of chest because sometimes when I wear a shirt as well and it like say it's a high, high up vest, like you end up looking a bit covered up, but I feel like it's a little bit too much boob. Um, almost right, but not quite right. Like the straps are quite close together as well. This is another view of that same shirt that I showed you before. I got it in a large, by the way. It is really nice, isn't it? It's really nice fabric. Um, I think I could probably have sized down, but this is like the perfect thing to chuck over every outfit in the summer or on holiday. Um, I generally, I like this whole look. Do you remember the um, beige trousers from the last one when they had the little tie? Well, I had to get them in the black and yeah, they're nice. I mean, they're very simple, but they're a really good price point and just are gonna be great for styling this summer. And this is the little crop shirt from the last one. I think I did, like, had it styled, done up last time. But yeah, love these trousers, especially with the sambas. I feel like they're really cool for summer. Also got this shirt. It's a bit longer length. Um, I'm not totally convinced on it. It's quite a good beach cover up because it does like just go past your bum and you could also tie it up, I think, if you wanted to make it a little bit more dressy looking. Also, I just wanted to mention these sunglasses. These are from Amazon, okay? They are just like my Lispex ones. And if you're going to a festival or going on holiday or something where you're worried about taking your best sunglasses, like, ideal, these are perfect. I just, like, they are such a great shape. I think they look really cute and you don't gotta worry about sitting on them or something like that. But yeah, this shirt, not convinced, but hmm, it's not bad. So I picked up these just like flip-flops. They're really, really simple, just plain black flip-flops. They're actually not uncomfortable. I'm surprised, I always worry about flip-flops. And um, they're just simple. They're kind of like the row ones. They're very trendy this year to have super, super minimal um, flip-flops. So yeah, they're a good little purchase. Ooh. This is actually the first time I've tried this top on. I forgot to try it on yesterday. I, I, I really like it. So it's sort of like this brown, almost shimmery fabric. Can you see it? Probably not. Um, and it was styled on the website with these trousers, which is kind of why I got it. I do really like it. I'm a bit. Ner I'm always a bit nervous about having my arms fully out, but. I kind of like it. It kind of feels like it sucks me in a little bit, like holds you in, like holds your boobs in and stuff. It's a thong bodysuit, but I kind of like it. It's comfortable. This is hitting a little bit in a weird place, but I feel like this might be a good summer going out <laughs> top. Maybe for like, yeah, I don't know. Oh, shall I style it quick? Oh, I don't have good heels with me. Um, Hold on. Okay, what do we think of this as a going out outfit? Does the brown top not go with the silver accessories? Oh, I should wear silver earrings. Ignore that. Um, Cause I might make this my next going out outfit. What do you think? Oh, and this is a bag that I totally forgot to tell you about during my bag video. How annoying am I? Cause this is the latest one um, that I've bought and my most expensive bag actually. So it's my mini Prada. She fits absolutely nothing in. She is basically just an accessory. It's quite cool though. It like comes apart and comes like two bags. Like, wee. Um, and I've also managed to like, you can like sort of hook it Hook this into a, make this into like a belt and then wear them like 
either side because on the other side of this there's a, another Prada logo so you can sort of wear them like that somehow um but she is such a cutie I she is kind of absolutely useless and I got her when I was going to Coachella as like I don't know a little celebration a little bit of fun I don't know if I'll keep her um I should really be responsible and sell it but for now I'm having fun with her and I, I do love her even though she's got nothing in apart from the padding that she came with <laughs> okay I'm gonna end the vlog there so I can get it up for you in it guys in time I hope it's all okay I feel slightly interesting I'll be sure to get better as vlogs as I at vlogs as I go and as I do things um yeah it's a little bit like daunting because the whole YouTube thing but I'm just like go on Amy put stuff out there Thank you for all your comments. I really enjoy them. Love talking to you guys. I'm obviously on the other apps all the time too. But YouTube, like, I feel like it brings something, it's something different and it, it gets me to talk more in the long form. And I personally am a big fan of, like, I love YouTube. So yeah, I enjoy making these videos. I hope you enjoy them too. If there's anything you would like to see, please let me know. Please leave me a comment saying hi. And I hope you have a good day.